Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at andito ulit tayo ngayon para sa isang bagong PC build ulit. Of course, we will feature in here one of the processors na na-feature natin previously sa ating mga videos. Kumbaga, in terms of comparison, ay compare na natin itong Intel Core i5 10th Gen. Marami ng videos ang nagsasabi na dead on arrival, um, performance-wise, price-wise, uh, it's really off pagdating sa conversation. Pero yun nga lang mga kaibigan, there are ifs. What if? If and only if. <laughs> Ayun, yung mga bagay na parang kumbaga, pwede mong, sige, bibili ako ng Intel kung eto. Okay, so ito kasi yun mga kaibigan. Um, hindi naman lahat ng bagay na sabihin na lang natin pangit, eh talagang pangit na. Marami pa rin namang mga bagay na pwede mong makita na maganda. And uh, yun nga, is uh, depende. So yun yung mga pag-uusapan natin mga kaibigan. Ipapakita ko pa rin kung what's the good part in buying Intel Uh, if the comparison is this kind of scenario at the same time if the comparison or if the situation is this now if this is the situation or this is the placement or positioning ng ating Intel Core i5 ano naman yung mga magagandang kayang gawin ng ating Intel Core i5 10th gen or 10400 to be specific na lang kasi ito naman yung pag-uusapan natin with of course ASRock H470 motherboard which is ito yung pinili kong motherboard dahil ang i-build natin ngayon is uh, Not uh, really a budget uh, PC, pero at least uh, it is positioned at a price point of uh, 50k more or less. Depende na lang siguro kung kailan po kayo bibili or uh, saan kayo bibili. Uh, pwede siyang nasa ganung price range. Pero as of now, medyo minimize ko na yung pagbabanggit ng mga uh, pricing. Dahil uh, yun nga, tumatalo ng presyo sa ating market. Ang IT industry kasi napakagalaw ang pricing. Minsan bagsak presyo, minsan... Uh, bumubulusok naman sa taas so ang hirap magsabi na okay ito yung pricing yan now ang masasabi ko lang uh, if in case it's a uh, bit nandun sa budget to mainstream side ang positioning ng Intel Core i5-10400 kaya ito ngayon yung una nating pag-uusapan with a special topic na BFB Base Frequency Boost which is yun yung pinakadahilan kung bakit ilalabas ko tong video And soon, may mga ilalabas pa pa akong videos with Intel Core i5-10400 uh, with different kind of scenarios and uh, comparisons naman. For now, eto muna yung comparison and of course, uh, some uh, reasons when to consider Intel while we are doing the review of Intel Core i5-10400. Alright, so for more videos like this, Intel 10th Gen, feel free to subscribe and of course, marami rin mga videos sa susunod pa with AMD 3100. Okay, so the PC build is here. And uh, ang chassis na pinili natin is of course the Cooler Master MB500. Sabi nga nila, medyo mainit yung Intel natin. So I prefer to have a chassis na if uh, not that uh, kind of uh, uh, full mesh, kahit pa paano, hindi naman masyadong restricted ang airflow sa harap. And this chassis is half uh, mesh and then uh, half covered or restricted dun sa kanyang uh, bandang top. So, It's a bit unique chassis kasi marami na akong nilabas na chassis dito and most of them are kumbaga minimalist, uh, simple lang, flat uh, front panel. So kung gusto mo rin medyo kakaiba yung chassis mo, then you may consider having this Cooler Master MB500 with a tempered glass side panel and then uh, sa top nandyan yung mga ports, uh, power buttons and then uh, maganda dito yung kanyang expansion slot covers, kumbaga removable siya so hindi siya soldered and uh, Ah, hindi mo siya kailangang i-modify or mag-cut para lang mag-mount ng uh, GPU bracket kung gusto mong i-set up ng vertical mount yung GPU. And then uh, for the other side, maganda yung clearance naman pagdating sa cable management. And of course, um, yung kanyang PSU shroud is uh, may mga cutouts for better airflow. Clearance-wise, in terms of uh, radiator mount is uh, good at the front. Pwede ka mag-mount ng up to 360mm. And then at the same time for air cooler setup, you can mount Hyper 212 or even uh, mount uh, top mount radiator. So clearance wise, wala kang masasabi sa MB500. Yun nga lang yung kanyang front panel is uh, a bit subjective. May mga makaka-appreciate, may mga gusto namang uh, mas minimalist, may mga gusto namang ganito na medyo unique yung kanyang uh, design. Which is, uh, ayun, depende na lang sa panlasa mo. So I may call it subjective choice. And then for the air cooler, of course, we have here the Hyper 212. The only uh, model na nirelease sa Pilipinas, wala po yan sa Amazon, sa Newegg, hindi, hindi ka makakahanap ng ganitong 
uh, Hyper 212 with um, Rainbow Fan. So, dito lang po yan sa Pilipinas nilabas. Actually, this is the Hyper 212 Black Edition. Pero, uh, pinalitan lang nila yung fan to consider it as a uh, Hyper 212 Spectrum. So, dito mo lang yan sa Pilipinas mabibili. O hindi mo yan mabibili sa ibang bansa. So, you can uh, uh, just view that on uh, some sites like, uh, of course, DynaQuest or any other uh, stores out there. Uh, provincial or NCR. And then, of course, one of the major components is the ASRAC H470, which is... Uh, uh, declared by ASRAC na meron siyang future-proof. Uh, rest assured na sa mga susunod na generation ng Intel, this is still a board that may support uh, future generations na i-release ni Intel under socket 1200. Uh, it's a black and white design. You may uh, have it for a black setup or you may have it with a white uh, setup. So, yun. Sabi ko nga, neutral kasi hindi naman masyadong dominant yung kanyang pagka-white. Hindi rin naman masyadong dominant yung kanyang pagka-black. So, either way, kung ano man yung magiging setup mo, maganda yung kanyang uh, color scheme. In terms of uh, other features or other uh, components, SMD part, uh, there are previous videos na mga na-release na ako about uh, the uh, supply of this uh, motherboard or uh, the Intel motherboards. And uh, for specific ASRAC motherboards, may mga ilalabas pa ako in the future. For now, hindi ko muna masyadong iha-highlight yung about sa ating motherboard. It's now more about our processor. But before that, of course, I have here also the video card na RTX 2060 Super, which is, I think, the sweet spot uh, video card that you may consider for this processor or the RX 5700. Pero syempre, one of the potential kasi ng ating uh, Intel Core i5-10400 na pag-uusapan din natin ngayon is more on the rendering and editing side. Alright, so let's go now to the 10400. Uunahin natin mga kaibigan is yung kaniyang editing side, which is rendering. 3D rendering wise, this processor already won over the AMD Ryzen 5 2600, which is the previous uh, base model ng AMD. And that was released at a 10K plus price point nung bagong release din siya. Uh, now going to the comparison, bakit ganito yung nangyayari? Na bakit kinocompare ko siya sa 2600 instead of 3600? Of course, uh, aside from the fact na wala tayong 3600 as of now, incoming pa lang, and uh, on the next video, doon ko po ipapakita yung 10400 versus 3600. Uh, dito ang pinapakita ko muna is base model to base model comparison. Kung baga, ano pa ang pinaka base model ng Ryzen 5? 3500X as of now. And then uh, the upcoming 3500 in the next coming days. Pero um, 2600 is also one of the base model before na-release yung 3500X sa PH market. So uh, the comparison now na ginawa ko na lang is base model to base model. Uh, base model Intel Core i5 versus base model Ryzen 5. And here we spotted that the... Uh, 10400 is uh, winning pero the significant advantage is brought to you by the BFB feature of ASRAC. Nung in-enable na natin yung BFB base frequency boost, it's very simple uh, um, option sa ASRAC which is specific uh, um, boards of ASRAC mo lang makikita like uh, this H470 is still legend. Nung in-enable natin up to 125 watts, nakita natin mga kaibigan that this ASRAC is delivering the Intel Core i5-10400 at a significant advantage pagdating sa rendering. Which is, alam naman natin, even you may ask other guys in rendering, na yung 2 minutes, 1 minute advantage for that kind of span of time ng uh, rendering is malaking bagay na. How about if you will be rendering for uh, more than 1 hour or 2 hours or a day or uh, 2? Siyempre, mas makikita mo na naman yung advantage na oras na rin yung pagitan. So, for this kind of uh, rendering time frame na minutes lang and meron ng 2 minutes na advantage yung Intel Core i5-10400 over the competitor na base model, dito natin nakita that ASRAC plays a big role na sometimes, yun nga, choice of motherboard is also an advantage as of now. Now, what is this uh, BFB? Uh, I don't know if it's allowed by Intel or certified by Intel. Pero ever since ginagawa na ni ASRAC to, like uh, they release Sky OC or they release uh, uh, features na you can uh, tweak uh, the processor na kahit hindi siya unlock processor ng Intel, pwede mo siyang uh, i-overclock. And I have a previous video in here mga kaibigan nung uh, totoy days pa tayo na overclock ko yung Intel Core i3 or i5 I think before. And uh, Ayun, na-overclock ko siya kahit na hindi naman Z-series yung aking motherboard at hindi naman K-series yung aking processor. Pero yun nga, 
uh, way back those times kasi mga kaibigan is hindi pa naman tayo kumbaga random videos lang natin ina-upload so syempre maraming hindi naniniwala and uh, nowadays na talagang masyado ng uh, hinayip ni Asra or kumbaga yan na talaga yung hinighlight yung feature ng kanilang motherboards it's uh, proven na na mga kaibigan that this can deliver a significant advantage on some uh, work logs or on some uh, activities sa ating uh, computing like rendering and uh, dito natin nakita din yung advantage sa rendering sa video rendering na meron din siyang na-deliver na significant performance which is uh, a minute almost one minute advantage over the Intel Core i5-10400 na walang BFB uh, boost and nakita natin dito mga kaibigan that this is really a good feature that Intel Core i5 or that may save Intel in terms of competition na pwedeng magkaroon ng significant advantage kahit pa paano itong 10400 natin kung ang i-compare natin is base model to base model okay without pricing kasi iba yung magko-compare tayo ng product based on pricing which is I know that some of you guys may say na very unfair pero yun nga sa next video hintayin nyo lang po may next video pa naman tayo mga kaibigan we cannot discuss all on one video so uh, sa next video Uh, yun, ipapakita ko naman po sa inyo with the Ryzen 5 3600 as I promised sa aking post uh, previously sa ating page. Alright. Now, if that kind of significant advantage in terms of rendering video and 3D, will it be the same pagdating naman sa gaming? And dito natin makikita mga kaibigan that on some games, medyo uh, sinelect ko na lang po yung mga games na pwedeng magkaroon ng significant performance or Uh, not really significant or something pero kahit paano medyo may makikita kang uh, improvements so pinili ko yung mga games like uh, uh, Shadow of Tomb Raider which is a CPU uh, bound game uh, CPU intensive uh, game and dito natin nakita na almost the same ang kanilang average performance Intel Core i5 10400 with BFB versus Intel Core i5 10400 stock Nakita natin na same lang naman yung kanilang uh, FPS performance in terms of average. Pero pagdating na sa kung saan mas stable, saan mas smooth yung gaming, uh, there's uh, least chance na mas na makaka-experience ka ng stutter. Mas nakita natin yun sa ating 10400 that delivers uh, 10 plus 10 FPS in terms of 1% low. Which is this 1% low shows the advantage in terms of... Uh, lesser chance na maka-experience ka ng FPS drop or uh, stutter during gaming. So, which is smoother in terms of gaming? Naka-BFB or no BFB? Of course, with BFB or base frequency boost that can only be delivered if you are using ASRock motherboard. And uh, we also noticed this with uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and of course GTA 5 and some more games na tinest natin. Pero, Most of the games sa Tinesco, actually hindi ko na lang masyadong naipakita dito Pero I have here some random games na ipapakita sa inyo uh, Na medyo hindi rin ganun kalaki yung advantage ng BFB Parang on par lang sila So, uh, kumbaga yung mga games lang talaga na CPU intensive Ang makaka-experience ng advantage ng BFB boost Pagdating sa ating uh, processor na 10400 Pero yun nga, uh, rendering wise, BFB is good Uh, gaming wise not all by default naka auto naman yan mga kaibigan so uh, you may experience the boost uh, depende na lang sa cooling solution mo or depende na lang din sa motherboard mo in terms of VRM uh, cooling pero yun uh, when we observe the temperature wala namang masyadong uh, gain uh, we use the IDA64 to uh, check the temperature of this Intel Core i5-10400 with Hyper 212 And uh, this chassis, and uh, nag-stay lang siya sa 60 to 65 degrees Celsius temperature. And in terms of uh, power, we have captured 50 to 55 idle uh, wattage. Pero syempre, yung peak wattage consumption natin is my experience natin or makikita natin kung both CPU and GPU is naka-peak or naka-100% usage. And uh, yan is na-capture natin lahat using our uh, watt meter. So, yan po yung kanyang total power draw or actual power draw sa ating outlet mga kaibigan. So, ayan po ang ating Intel Core i5-10400. More videos or more information about Intel Core i5-10400 will be seen in the next uh, days or uh, weeks or month. Marami pa po tayong i-feature dito. Pero at least sa mga naghanap ng Intel uh, build sa akin, eto na po ang isa sa mga pwede nyo i-consider 
as long as you choose the right motherboard, choose the right component, of course, you will have the better experience with your Intel Core i5-10400 since this is the cheapest 10400 or i5 in the 10 generation lineup that you may consider. Meron din tayong 10500, 10600, 10700. Pero eto mga kaibigan, my final conclusion is, I may just recommend this uh, hardly, hardly mga kaibigan, kung yung price niya is bababa pa. Because it's not really a bad processor. It's just positioned at a price point na sobrang mahal. If this processor will just be at a price point which is uh, the same, or even lower than the 3500X or um, at least closely on par with the 2600, we may consider having the 10400 sa position ng 3600. Paano kung yung 3600 nagbagsak presyo? Automatically, nobody will buy 10400. That is the only thing na, uh, kumbaga, uh, medyo mapapailing ka na lang kung consider mo pa rin ang 10400. Unless you are just into gaming or you want to consider those advantage na pinikita ko in terms of rendering using the BFB uh, ASRock uh, motherboard or uh, you are just a fan of Intel. So, kung talagang gusto mo mag-Intel, then I don't have any choice but to recommend you one of the build na ito. You may consider this kind of build. Pero, yun nga, mga kaibigan, wise buying, I'm so sorry, this is actually, what I have in here is uh, sponsored, pero hindi ko pwedeng sacrifice yung pangalan ko para lang sabihin kong, di ba? Thank you, Intel, for the uh, opportunity. Thank you for the uh, components. I may just recommend the product if and only if. Yun, yung mga sinabi ko kanina, if that is the case. Pero, sad to say, uh, pricing wise dun pa lang yun yung kailangan ma-fix and I doubt that Intel will do that or maybe they will just do that kung talaga makikita nila na magko-collapse yung kanilang market just because of bad pricing with their processor so hopefully Intel will um, adjust para kahit pa paano the part na or the fact na hindi na nga ganun ka-competitive yung kanilang mga components in terms of uh, most of the applications maparendering or gaming medyo sumasabay yung mga AMD components uh, whatever variant kasi nga nagkakaroon ng mga price cut na ginagawa si AMD so nahihirapan talaga I understand the business wise hirap na hirap ang Intel ngayon and hopefully they will fix this by just doing uh, some adjustments para kahit paano uh, they can still maintain uh, yung kanilang market and to maintain the competition because competition will also fix a lot of things na nangyayari ngayon if you have observed Intel uh, AMD B550 motherboard is coming pero yun mga kaibigan it's super expensive at 10 makakakita ka ngayon ng B550 motherboard at a 15k plus price point and that is because there's no competition so ayun mga kaibigan competition is napaka importante kaya we are still hoping something for Intel na kahit paano sana gumawa sila ng adjustment para ma-maintain kasi tayong mga consumer lang din ang mak makikinabang kung magkakaroon talaga ng magandang competition sa ating IT industry or sa PC market. Alright, so that's it guys. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. And yes, thank you very much.